Yes, um, he started to play him in the tennis recently, but he's having problems because he's smiling at him for hitting the racket face. So he thought, well, he was on the driving range the other day and he got his driver and he's been practicing his tennis with his driver. <laughs> and uh, when he when he moved up to Augusta, he was practicing a few like 
this. We'll do it like that. And if you happen to play down that tree on the left, cut it back right. like that. And that is the <laughs> Bubba Watson Drive. So you see golf can be a lot of fun and you know you can stand either side of the ball. But getting the, the right shaft is very important. And, and if you have the right shaft in the bag, some players have problems <laughs> getting the right shaft. And <laughs> this is one that really, I mean it's all about, you know, if you've got a set of golf clubs and you've got steel, steel long graphite shafts, if they're not working, you want to go to the garage and get a hose pipe. And you put the hose pipe on the top like this and set yourself up and just remember when you play you see all you have to do here is just let the club Ooh. work and you can even play the little fade like this you know, if you just want to try and get a bit of ball control but you know we, they all say in golf drive for show and pump for dough that is very much the, the, the saying in golf and I, when I, uh, when I go out on the golf course and some days you know I see business people on the course and they're lined up there on the green, and they get the, the line up for the putt here, and they've got this little putt here to the hole, and they set the mm. set up, and they get the line, and they freeze on the ball, and then they, they have the mobile phone in the back pocket, and they think, well, what do I do? You know, the mobile rings, is it the wife, or is it the office? <laughs> so what you should always do is just answer the call. Once you've got the line, and you feel confident, you can leave the putter there, and carry <laughs> it. <laughs> because really, that, that's, that's what you've got to do, you get the line, tip for you is that a lot of golfers have problems with, with the putting and that's why when I played on the European Tour my biggest problem was the putting and that's why I'm doing the shows today and, and if you start with the putting Ping have got a, a new putter that's just come out and this is great for the little oh. putter <laughs> <laughs> I mean you, you have no problems with this thing oh, no. but, but really seriously uh, another tip is if you are a free putter occasionally what you should do is when you go to the golf course to practice a few of your one putts I don't like these little pots. The problem with me with the little pots is I miss them. So when you when you go to the golf course, what you should do is practice your 200 meter putt. So if you set yourself up with a putter like this, and you line up, set up the putter like this, take the putt back, and then just practice a few of these long yeah. putts. Because <laughs> the secret really is that if you are pretty good at putting, and if you practice 200 meter putts, then when you get on the par four, if you three putt, what you do is you put the ball on the tee and make three putts from here, and it's a birdie. And that's the way to play. You've got to think about this game. <laughs> so practice your long putts. You know the short putts are important. Now uh, here's, a, here's a little shot for you. If you're, if you're out on the golf course now and you're you're a slicer of the golf ball, because a lot of golfers, you know, when they get to the first tee, they line up like this and they stand on the first tee. They have the driver oh, like this, and, and if they slice the ball, the driver's here. <laughs> That. And normally what happens with the, with the slicer is they aim to the left, and I'm sure you've done it yourself, when you get on the tee, and you know, you've sliced the first five holes, and when you get on the sixth tee, you're here, and you're aiming down the left of the fairway, like this, to get the driver back, and then the ball Ooh. still goes to the right. So what I say to you is, is that when you get to 18, and you're over here, if you still can't hit the fairway, the drive's doing that, you've really got big problems. So what you need to do now is you need to have a little lesson. And on my DVD I show you how easy it is to line yourself up. But a quick cure for you on the golf course, if you're really having problems and you've played 16 holes and lost 10 Pro Vs, what you should do is aim the driver at the target, get your hands on the driver like this, and face the hole. <laughs> this way you can keep an eye on the ball a bit longer. And when you stand on the tee, you line up like this, you get the driver back,
expensive. And I liked it because I thought it's, it's the best drive I've ever seen for those difficult lines. I said, well, what are you going to do? He says, it's easy, because I just tap it on the head like that. And I said, that looks cool. And then he said, I grip it like this. And I, and I, and I just pull around the ball like this. And then eventually it works its way back to the fairway. So, you know, if you're having problems, it's a little strimmer wood. And, I mean, it's a wonderful little club that I find on my travels. But, but you know, um, I also meet a lot of great players. And I want to introduce you now to a couple of the great players that play the game as well. And you've seen them all on the television, you may have seen them here at the Maybank and the Lazy Open, but you know when, when you see one of the great players, you see one great player from the European team, or the captain of the Ryder Cup team, one of the happiest guys you'll ever meet on the golf course, Colin Montgomery. <laughs> now if Monty was here, Monty would be like this. Yeah, hi. 
IT in the bag as well. And, and uh, if you get a left-handed driver in the bag, it's a spare club. And when you get to the first tee, oh turn gosh. the left-handed driver upside down like this. So oh. you have it upside down and you're working really down the right-hand side of the fairway and bringing the ball back into play. So if you stand here like this, you line up with the left-handed driver upside down, get the driver back like this, so. like that. So there's a, are there any questions about golf at the moment? <laughs> what a great game and you, you have all of these shots. Now here's another little shot for you. Start playing now. You're married, okay? And you start playing. <laughs> and if he has a bad game of golf, you send him back to the clubhouse for a Coca-Cola, okay? <laughs> and, uh, and you carry on playing on your own like this. You get two balls. And you stand on the tee. You two balls like this. And you take the clock back. Top of the back two swing. Good. Something a little bit longer. 
Now, the next thing is, is that if you're looking for something a bit more special in the bag, then you have to start thinking about big clubs. Mm -hmm. And this one here is a pretty good club for me because it's got the new G20 there and it's like a longer shaft. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 